recording. Okay. What we need to fix is the yeah. AST on both sides now because. Yeah, but what is wrong with the AST? The types? Uh, in the uh, on the typer, the part that is wrong is the function type. Isn't it the typer that is right and the evaluator that is wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the case before last session of the parsing part. Because after the after the parsing, remember that we changed substantially the abstraction. We're not using a list of parameters now. We are using one like a function inside a function inside a function. Remember? Have we changed that? I don't remember. Yeah, we changed that. Um, oh, that's that's crap. So now the abstraction that the typer is using for type checking application is wrong. Oh, here I remember. We we're doing like a, a program, right? No, no, no. That's that's still okay. That one we what you're looking at. I'm talking about type check application in the typer. Let me see. Type check application. Yeah, ah, it's function, man. we have like types, which is this, uh, but this mm. is assuming to be a list. But now it's not a list anymore. I don't know because nothing here is a type, so I don't know. But anyway, I agree. Yeah, this is this is a list of things. Uh, we don't have a list anymore because now instead of putting like uh, a list of parameter types, now in the parser is picking like, oh, um, uh, it's easy to explain this way. So you have an integer to an integer to an integer, right? What the parsing is doing is transforming this to a function type it takes okay. another function not very attic but <sighs> this but the parameter is always one now the size with the size one in this case the parameter type is going to yeah, be a it's function. another function and yeah. then inside it's another function and then the so return it's curry. uh yeah we are curring yeah that would be the explanation for it so we need to adapt this part type check application to to count this this because uh, otherwise you cannot type check. Something that I want to remember that I don't necessarily remember now is the return type is going to be all of this, right? It's going to be another function. Is that right? Actually, yeah. this will be an integer. And this is a function, yeah. So that's, that's what we need to do. So this is not plural anymore. This is always only this. Um, I'm tired of it just by thinking. Uh, so let me think. We have we have the list of arguments though. Yes. And we have That's the types we, of all of them. We compare if the size is equals to the types. Yeah, and if they are equal, we just return the return type. But in this case, oh, I know, I remember now. It's because the type check abstraction is already uh, telling us. Oh no, it's fine. You can go, right? Because how do we know that these types are are, are equal to this one? Uh, on, judging only. Oh no, we're not judging the length, man. No, we're judging we're, the yeah, list itself. The yeah. yeah, yeah. So what do we need to do? I guess the order needs to be in place and everything. Yeah, the order. But now we need to do, I think, something like lists uh, nth one to grab the head of this. And instead of returning the return type, we call type check application again. Yes. Type check application. Uh, we send in the same environment. It's in the same environment. Uh, the Ooh, wait, we have an abstraction. Is the abstraction the same? Um, no, right? Because that is you gotta think that that is the type of the abstraction. Is that correct? Okay. That is the type of the abstraction. So type check with environment. So that's the the function we call up there. Let's see. Here with environment abstraction. So you just pass the same, I guess. Oh no, oh, man, it's not. Yeah. I think you're gonna have yeah. to. If I wait. 
No, it's not that easy. Like, I'm thinking if we should pass the same. No, we, but that's, not the same. that's not the same. The same is a different type. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I think we, we're going to have to do something like this. So, um, new abstraction. And then it's going to be abstraction. And then here, what is what is the thing that's going to try to match abstraction parameters and body? Yes. Okay. The in this particular case, the yeah, but the problem is the body. Like, what is the body of this? The body is always a return type, right? No, the return type is different than the body itself. Wait. Can you repeat? Like like the body is the structure, right? Of the, the function. Body is We're the not talking structure. about typing in that case. No, but we are. All of this is just typing. The body, no, when you talk about body, no, no, you're no, talking no, about the return like, type of that. Just look here, man. Line 77. No, 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 we are type no, checking wait, the abstraction. And no, we are just no, checking no, for this, man. No, wait. That is wrong because this is the AST. And this does not have a type on the body. This doesn't have a type on the body. What is the body? The body is after the lambda and after the parameters, right? Yes. What is the body? It's the piece it's not of computation. A type. That's that's what we... No, it's not a type. Yes, that's what I'm saying. No, no, it's not a it's type. Not I a random understand. expression. So you need to type. You need to call this type check with the raw environment the body. Wait. Can you repeat the last, that just the last part? Like, I'm thinking if you need to call this function again with the body, because this is an expression as well. Yeah, that is an expression as well. So that is my problem. What happens if you type check an abstraction? You just uh, let me see here. Abstraction, I think we're just wrapping function. Where is it? Is that man? Wait, I think we are having yeah. a... Wait a sec. We pick variadic info, labels, and the body. And then we do unique list, blah, blah, blah. Ignoring the types of the things inside the X, which are the labels. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then we do types. Oh, you're right. Look at lines 56 here. Okay, so yeah, yeah the body is not a type. The body is the expression itself. And then we are type, trying to type check it here to acquire the return type. So. Ooh, wait. So horrible. I don't know if it is possible. Wait, 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 wait. But I'm confused this. Don't we already have, if we type check an abstraction, which is the first thing, don't we already have the function of variadic and the informations we need? Wait, if you type check an abstraction, you're going to have this, line 656. Yeah, because we're trying to change the args, right? The, argument, the args are the problem. Yeah, we are manipulating but... the args right now, because we need to, oh, this type but yeah, needs but to be the, the thing equal is... to the first one of yeah. this list. Yeah, but, but the problem, notice the problem now. We have the same body. The function is not changing. To do real curry, like uh, as we like, think of curry, it would be, okay, so you have a function, you apply it, you bind a value to the, to the first argument, so in the closure, spit it again, evolve, uh, run the thing, then the next iteration, then you have another, another parameter you need to fill, and so on. Which is not the case. Like we we have that just as the typing uh, situation, not as the. We're thinking of evaluation in that case. It's not evaluation. That is the problem. Because what? Let, let's think of here. Uh, you wrote oh man, my mouse. You wrote integer to integer to integer. So it takes an a b right. Let's just write here. A. I need to get used to this keyboard. And then <laughs> the price of me being able to make it through <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it feels so nice to be able to. So now I feel, <laughs> I feel free, man. I feel free. Here, let's just document, otherwise, as well. 
But like, here, this is the structure. So, how is the representation of this? We should be function. Let's think of the abstraction, right? So the abstraction is, let's be precise. So it should be function, not variadic. And then we take- It's this, integer. right? This. Oh yeah, you already wrote, yes. So that is the thing. And then now it makes sense because we take the thing outside of the abstraction of the function, sorry, the function type itself. We take this last guy and then we send it again to this. And then just consuming the arguments. If they all the arguments by the end of the iteration, like all of this loop end, then it's correct. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But what I'm not understanding how we're gonna replicate is that what we need to do is we need to, like, we have access to this guy. This guy, the first integer is this. That's fine. But the return type is all of this. Mm -hmm. Right? But we still have arguments to go. So we, we do have this list. Yes. This is the arguments. But we don't have a way to nicely... Like, we, we need to do some sort of recursion in this case, I guess. Yes. We need to recursively call the return type oh, again. Can I, can I do something here? Uh, can three? I do... Can I do something like this? J just Just one thing, real quick. Thank you. Okay, let's Why, start man? fresh. There's a lot of it. No, this, the, the beginning. The beginning is the same. The beginning is yeah, the so same. Yeah, so let's just let's just do the thing here. Yeah, the, the, because I'm this totally is ba is literally getting the the arguments. Yeah, the arguments. That's fine. And type checking and getting the types yeah. for us. That's what we need. Okay, so from that we the same mm. the same thing again. We need to understand if our function is variadic or not. Yes. So uh, this... Because this changes the way that we do stuff. So this... Let's suppose the first case, which is the case that we don't have a variadic function. Uh... So in this case, we get our type and our return type. In... So okay, let's, yeah. do, let's do this inside, so just so we be more organized. And let's put it like this, man. Indentation is... Here, I guess. Okay, let's let's. I think that the first thing that we need to do is to better match the return type and see if yes, it's a function. Yes, I don't want to. Yes, I don't want to do this in here because it's gonna be cluttered. But actually, let's. No, let's make it clutter over here, man. Yeah, I don't care anymore. No, 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 no. It's not about Should not caring. No, no, no. That's not gonna work. You know why? Because when you're gonna have to make another match of this without this being a function. No, man. Yes, we will. What do you mean? Let me explain. Let's suppose mm. that we are pattern matching this outer one here. Yes. If that's the case, we're going to pattern match because this is a function and this is also a function. So this is fine. But let's suppose the next step rec recursively, we're going to have this one trying to pattern yes. match with this. And yes. that's not going to work because this yes. is not that's a, why you a have function. another. That's why you have another case which matches an integer instead. Another random type. Okay, a random thing. Okay. It's going to be a... What are the options? Only a literal. We only have functions and literals. Uh, literal type. Not necessarily. That's that's no, the whatever. gotcha. Whatever type. Yeah. Uh, uh, return. Yeah, we're going to have to add more names here. Okay. Wait. What did you do? Wait, some do control Z. I think I think that the something wrong uh, happened there. Yeah. The okay. Thing. Okay. Now it's correct. We need to ma name these things. Type one, okay, type okay. two for now. There is no shadow in this crap language. No, but what about what do you mean by shadowing, man? We need both. We need to no, call I'm saying both. You cannot no, I'm just saying like I'm just reminding the fact that this language has no oh, okay. shadowing. Okay. This is so shitty. You gotta keep watching what you're typing. Okay, so what we need to do now, we need to pattern match this with the head to see if it is fine. So this if is coming. Uh, 
<sighs> there is... There is this. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Okay then, let, let, let's trust then. Okay. Trust the plan. True. Yeah, if... Uh... Oh, okay, if the true is the same also. So it's this Erlang the true is the here. Elf. Yes. Yeah, so the true is the so, same. So in this case, once we get the thing, like if they're both the same, then you can proceed calling this garbage again. Type check application. What the heck? I can't. What? what? I can't choose the thing then. Okay. So passing down the environment. Passing down. Wait, wait, wait. Don't that we have to update the environment? Wait, don't we have to add something to the environment? Yeah, because now we I... discovered that the first argument... Uh, do we need to bind something here? Uh, I don't I think so. I don't okay. think so. Yeah, I don't think so also. But let me think of the abstraction now. Yeah, that's the tough one. I have a feeling that I this entire case should be a separate function. I yes, I'm thinking about this, but I don't think that will help. I think we need to change the function itself because we got to dismember the abstraction. What is the abstraction at this point? That's the part of the ST. Yeah, so at we this have point, the, this blah, blah, blah. Is the lambda x y body. That's what it well, is. Well, we don't have types here, so we can do some heresies. Oh no, yeah, we can create a clone for type check application, but yeah, that's what so... I mean. I think, I, I really think that this part of the code is worth it to be in a, in a separate file. Ah, what the heck, man. Hit this. Okay, so we can do this. Yeah, abstraction. Uh, abstraction takes a label, a name, does it? Like, what are the things? I don't remember the ST for an abstraction. Wait a sec. It takes variadic info, labels, and the, and the body. No, wait, that's that's just it dismembered here. So an abstraction is abstraction, parameters, and the body. Wait a second. Oh, is it? Abstraction. Um, I don't know Why do we need the entire abstraction in this case? Because this function receives an abstraction. We don't. That's the problem. No, no, no. I, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm talking about type of type check application. Why the type of type check application needs to receive the entire abstraction? Well, it just needs to check the the abstraction oh. itself, the type. That's all. Oh, it's okay. But that's the thing. Like the mm -hmm. the what is the type of a uh, abstraction? That's a function, blah blah blah. Which the types of the body, right? Yeah. And the thing. But the, that's my problem. Like, what is the body now? That shouldn't be the same body from this. Should be the same body, I guess. No, because you're applying things to it. Like, this this is not the same uh, here. Like, we have this, this, and this. Once you apply this, the body... I think the body could be the same if we add to the environment. No, but that's... Dude, I, I mean, why did we do this, by the way? Like, this is way more complicated. Because doing otherwise in the parser was hellish. We decided to go this way because we, we debated about this with Nathan. Like, we, we said, oh, we have two options. We can do curring or we do a list. And then we decided to go to with the list approach. But when do we, during implementation, uh, we discovered that it's really, really... Uh, I don't know if it's impossible, but it seemed really, really harder to do the list approach. So then I, we decided to drop the list approach and do the curring approach. That's why. Man, like this is, this is not impossible, I guess, but we got to rethink all of this. And yeah, this was okay. working before. It, it was? Are you sure? Oh, it was. We tested each bit of this. Ooh, wait. I think I figured out how to to make it in on the parser. 
because the parser has access to this. I can create a function that maps this to what we had. I remember, wait, what was the discussion? I, I think I was in there, right? It yeah, was the was. discussion. You, you, were, you were there. Where you were like, oh, I cannot find, I cannot have the information prior to this moment. But yeah, well, it's because the par we couldn't tell the parser, hey, the, the one before the last one, you need to pay attention to that because that may be very erratic or something like that. Yeah, I get it. Was it was something along those lines. But that's the thing. We can create a function, a mapping function that picks this on the parser level and transforms it to the way that we want. Yes, please. We can do that. But how do we differentiate that? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then we would just compose all of this crap to an integer. Yeah, integer, uh, integer, like a list. Exactly as it were, it was yes. before we started. Yeah, Let's but, do that. Please. Yeah, but that, that, there's, a, there's a clash here. Because mm. one of the advantages of using the curing is that we can have multiple variadic parts, right? Yes. We can have this parameter here. This can be variadic, which is like very hard to imagine that we you ever do that, but <laughs> it is what it is. So um <sighs> Dude, okay, like I think we can do this here, but uh, this is way more complicated than it should be. Because think about this, like think of the constraints we have. We need to evolve an application. An application is concerned with an abstraction and the arguments, and they can be multivariatic, right? Yeah. Multivariatic, I mean like multi arcs, like it could yeah. be 10, like whatever. Yeah. And then if they are like this, we need to keep looping but it's not that simply looping because we have we depend on this abstraction here which is not which is changing as well so <laughs> wait wait let, let, i want to think a little bit more about this just a sec i'm starting oh, to no, think no, no, wait, 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 no wait. I, think, I think we're doing dumb stuff look at look, look, look at this man we are calling type check with abs with an environment, and we are trying to type check an abstraction, right? Yeah. And we are pattern matching a function, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh wait, no, no, I think I'm I thinking of what we should do because when we call this, we already have access to all of this, right? Uh, yes. All right. Yes. So why not we just do the conversion here? Like, we convert all of this to a, a list already. Like, it should be a reduce in this case, because, okay, we, we know that the return type will be the last thing. Oh, that can work. That can work. So, we just get... We don't even need to... Oh, man, let's let's ignore this crap. So, you didn't delete, right, from what? down there? No, I didn't delete anything. All right. So, let's just do this. Let's do, just do function. Um... Uh, Oops. Uh, what is the next thing? Function, variadic info, uh, not variadic. Yeah, this part is the not variadic part. And then we have, well, something. Yeah, then you have the, the, the first type and then the return uh, type. You kill me. Type E, <laughs> then return type. And then we don't need to, we don't need to evolve all of this. We, we, well, we don't need to call it again because we already have it. So we just do. Uh, this is have, a fold, right? Yes. So we have TL. <laughs> you know, return type. So we don't even need a fold in this case. That's my, my thing. I think we need because imagine the uh, a more complicated case. Imagine that this is also a function, uh, not very adic at all. Oh, yes, that's true. Because if the thing can keep branching, right? Yeah, but imagine that this is very erratic. What are we going to do about that? I don't know, man. I don't wanna even want to think about it being very erratic. I can't even... <laughs> I don't have that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't use simply tail. We need to... Okay, let's do another function that does that. This is getting complicated. So, extract... Oops. Extract... Um, nested 
it we need something like a concat. Do you know the idea? Concat, I mean, like F sharp concat, like list concat, and then you send like this, whatever, and then it just returns a. Something like this. We need that, like, to remove all of his nesting shit. Because, again, we don't care. We just want this re final return type here. And each type in particular, because we just... Oh, dude. I just thought of a case, like, what do we do if we have variadic here? We That's do, wrong. No, no, we do this part. We do all of this thing. No, but that is wrong, right? No, why? Because can you have a parameter that is not the last one that is variadic? No, no, but you you're not getting, you're not, you're not getting, you're not getting the the, 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 the crazy never part, mind. man. Yeah, yeah then remember then that mind. it's like this, right? Yes. So, and then you can have another parenthesis here, and then you can have I don't know integer. Ah, this is way harder than it should be. Oh yeah, just because we're lazy with parsing. <laughs> I don't know about lazy, I feel like we're limited. No, this is we made this decision instead of the list because we are lazy with parsing. I, well, I was certainly lazy, I'm not trying to, to say I'm not, but... I also think this was unnecessarily harder. Extract... I'm kind of, I'm kind of willing to go back to the the way the code it was before, and try harder on the parsing. Good luck. Because I don't think it would be easier there as well. I prefer to try to do it here. Well, <sighs> we can. But there's no way we cannot do recursion, man. You know why? Because you need to treat things differently. Oh, you need recursion. If you have variadic and not variadic. Yeah, we need recursion. In any case, there's no other option, literally. Oh, man. Nested. So let me nest a return type for a function. Let's do it. Function. Oh, function. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Um. Type. Wait. Return type. Wait, 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 wait. What is an abstraction again? An abstraction is just a per is just like parameters in a body. Man, we know how to call recursively. It is. Er, the same the same body and it is the same parameters apart from the head because the head we already evaluated it's the same body yeah. i agree with that with the clo with the thing in the environment uh yeah with one last thing in the argument yeah isn't that the case yes i think so if you can do that because about. No, 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 but let, let's let's try to draw this shit. So imagine that you have like this, right? So this is the body and this is the parameters. We are doing something like, I don't know, integer, integer, boolean, I don't know. We already n mapped this thing to this, right? Mm. That this if is checking exactly that, this line here. So, what we can do is ignore this and ignore this and continue, just go. This is current. But you need to add x to the environment. That's it. And then you call type check application again. Is that it? Like, it looks way easier than what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. Drawing is the best tool ever. Caveman. <laughs> uh, Caveman knew it. <laughs> Let, let's try that, j j just just to see, because I really yeah, think this yeah, is yeah, easier than it's... doing this thing. Yeah. Because I was going to do the same thing, but... Okay, so... 
but what? outside yeah okay so mm -hmm. what what did i i said something along the lines of um an abstraction is composed out of uh, parameters uh, and a body and to have applications you also need the argument okay so to have the new abstraction is uh, the same amount of parameters aside from the head so we need to get the tail to get tail you said it's this right yeah oh yeah We don't... What? What's the problem? Okay. Yeah, it's because I'm going to have to do an extra pair matching here. So Why are we overly complicating this, man? We are I not... Really to know. We are not... No, it's because we are... Uh, it's a, We had a hard time discovering what to do. That's what it was. So we're going to do that. Uh, abstraction. I don't know if... The, is this a thing? I don't remember anymore. Can we do uh... that? Well, you can. Nice. Okay, so it is the tail of parameters because we are we already pattern matched the first one, um, and it is the same body, exactly the same. The new environment is the same environment appended, which I don't remember how to do anymore. Uh, you can do. I think there is one case. Try here. List. Oh, list. merge maps yeah, merge. List. No, try lists merge, list append, I guess. Because, oh, that's a map, yeah, right? It's yeah, a map. it's a map, map merge. merge. Yeah, it's, it's map merge. Maps merge. You're going to do this. And we need... Wait a second. Maps from list, that's what we want, okay. Then we're gonna mm -hmm. have that like this, and then what we want here, we want to put in a list x, which is the type in this case type, and you want to map that to you wanna wait, you want to oh, type. Isn't that key? Oh no no no! It is a it is a key. It's Head a parameters. No, it, it, is, it is it is it is it is trust. Just trust. It is this. No, but it, you need tuples. Is that tuples? No, it is not tuples. I'm using like, a what function is the maps what is from the maps from list, man. Maps from list. No, but dude, you, you're not way. getting me. What is parameters? Parameters a is a list. Is it a list of tuples? Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to make a map from it. It is a list of tuples. Um, no. New abstraction. Because uh, no. let me just show you what I'm talking about. Oh, no. It, oh, wait. The maps from list, it takes a list where each thing is it's a, a key. Key info and a labels. It's a key and value. That's it. That's what you need. Key and value. Uh, wait a second, man. Because look at type check abstraction, line 49. Do you, know, do you notice that we have, these is parameters, right? Yeah. Type check abstraction, it receives uh, parameters in a body. Yeah. yeah. So we have the variadic info and the labels. So actually, I, I don't care about the variadic in this part, right? So I have to no. pattern match this again. Oops. So it's going to be a var, something that I don't care. And uh, labels, uh, labels, yeah. Then we better match just the first. So labels here. So X is the head of the labels, which makes sense. And we also have the type, which is the f the the this integer here. Okay, but that makes sense. Then, yeah, but dude, what are you doing there? That's what I'm not understanding. I am creating an environment that is... No, 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 no. That's not my, my question. My question is, what are you doing here? I am creating a list of two things. What is labels? Write down to me. What is labels? Labels is a list of strings. So that is wrong. Wait. What, is... Right here. Labels. Labels is equal to something. Write the something. Yeah, yeah the, the something, I guess, would be a list of strings. 
So that is wrong because it needs to be, as I said, like it needs to be a list, like that function from list, it receives a list of tuples with the key value. Oh, okay, so my bad. So it's gonna be like this. And a list yeah, also. But, but that's the thing, like, that's just one, right? That you are adding there. Yes. Okay, so that's right. Yes, and then after having the environment, put, then sorry, you can just, you can you can do just maps, but then maps, but this one. Okay, so the first argument is what? Uh, let me see. Ah, the scrap man. Maps, Ignorable, man. But oh, key, value, and the map. Okay, so the first yeah. one is the key. Um. Okay, so put, then the first value is the key, which is going to be head of labels, mm -hmm. then is the value, which is type, then is the environment, which is the current map. Oh, much better. Okay, so this is the new environment, which is fine. The, the best finding was this. <laughs> <laughs> Abstraction and then we need arguments. Okay, the arguments is basically tail of arguments. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, now we need to think about the base case of this recursion because this will go to infinity, I guess. Until we have a problem because we cannot. Uh, I don't know, some, we're going to have an empty list at some point, I guess, right? Wait, can we? Because that's, on the arguments I understand we can, but on the, on the arguments we can't, oh, sorry, on, we need you on the also... labels in our case, I think you can't, right? Wait, what, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, because we don't have unit, but like I'm thinking, like it cannot can ever be empty, right? If it's a function, that's what I mean. Oh no, yeah, this is a, this is a partial function, I guess. I don't know what will happen if this. Yeah, is but empty. we don't have unit, so I don't know. Yeah, but I I I think I know the the base case. So we need to do this until the return type is on a function. Yes. So when we discover that this is not a function. Then we start doing something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the next branch. Yeah, but I'm thinking about a thing. So let's let's suppose just for a second, just for a second, that X is very eric here. Oh no. Okay. If that's the we have this information by the way, it's it's right here. Yes. Yeah, but I'm thinking if this is a variadic, oh, this dude. should be yes. a list. Yes, but how are we? Because here's the problem with that case. Like you have E and B, right? Add add more stuff there. Yeah, more, right? Yeah. Because the problem is, I I B I B they are from Z, right? Less four. Oh. <laughs> well, this, does this break her logic? Because we we have to bind I to X and then we curry. And then Y to B and then we curry. And then it tries to bind I to Z and then it curries. And then now you have more parameters, then it crashes. Uh, I think that the even the parser doesn't know so, this, man. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. If we, we, oh man, if we could tweak the parser, which I don't want to do, <laughs> we could handle I B I B the last four as a list, and they all go to Z. No, but imagine this case, man. The parser doesn't know where to stop anymore. No, no wait, you can't do that, right? No, you can. In the version of the of this nesting thing, you can. 
No, but now it's different. Now it's not that the arguments that are variadic. That, oh, okay, I was misunderstanding them because that means the function y is variadic because those things are yes, functions. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, but that's not a problem then. Wait. Because you, you're buying a function that is variadic. It doesn't mean that the arguments for this thing are variadic. No, no, no. If it no I understand like that. This... I understand that. But let's suppose that instead of in literals, we have, I don't know, let's suppose that A is a function, right? Uh -huh. And B is also a function. Like everything here is a function. Let's suppose that for a sec. Yes, okay. You, how are you going to decide that, oh, these three functions, they are not part an of application, X. right? Yeah, not an application. All of oh. these are lambdas. The, the parentheses will actually save us in this case because it will be lambda blah blah blah. Let me just write some bullshit. X, Y, Z. Uh, and then just Z, whatever. Actually, it's just returning, right? Yeah. It's just, uh, uh, and then we, we need another parentheses for this case. Because this is an application. Yes, and then we have A, but you're saying, okay, A is a function as well, and let's just put the notation here, like this. Yeah, right? it will be something like that. So those need to be a variadic, functions. Yeah. So, okay, this dude here is variadic, so you're concerned if it, it's going to take B, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's because, B. like, X is a variadic set of functions, right? We are yeah, ignoring but... the type series. Let's suppose that we have the type here, okay? But this solves the issue. This solves the issue. Wait. Because now it's handling as an application here, and then the result of this is another application here, and so on. Oh yeah, but you're kind of getting around the problem. This is a solution that the programmer would use to to not to like to exploit the. I don't know how to how to say that, but oh, we it's imagine not a, it's not a workaround. It's the way that if you choose to do this garbage, then you gotta wait for the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? I don't understand it. Okay, you're right in this case. So if you want to be able to have two variadic sets, no, two variadic parameters, which are both the same type. The way to differentiate those is to add Oh, more... and by the way, we shouldn't handle... Oh, no, man, that's not a problem. We shouldn't handle A and B. Like, let's suppose there was no parentheses here. We're stu... No, man, that's just stupid. Like, this is... This is... We shouldn't handle this as an application because there's no parentheses here. An application depends on having a, a par... delimiters... Look at the grammar. It depends on having the limiters, a function, abstraction, and the parameter. So this can even happen. Let me go to the grammar. Okay, so the application is uh, delimiter and then an expression. Yeah, so it can't happen. No, wait, 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 wait. Space. No, the expression can be a variable. We are applying a variable. Then you don't have to have uh, delimiters. You can have like um, this. This. Yeah, you can do this. Like this. This x is not the same as this one in this case. Because this x is a variable within the outer environment. Right? And then we are applying to this x, which is the name inside this smaller scope. And this doesn't require uh, delimiters. This is just a variable. And it is an expression. Do you get it? Sorry, say it again. Uh, okay, so this is a valid piece of syntax, as far as I, I can tell from the parser and the grammar. Because this does, is a variable, which is a valid expression, which does not require uh, delimiters. We are Wait, applying this, this variable. variable. Yeah, this will be considered oh, a variable. X. Yeah, yeah, this x is not the same as this one. Mm -hmm. Let me put some other symbol. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. So this k is a name of a variable within the environment, the outer one. Yes. And then we are applying it to this abstraction here, 
which has a which will try to map this to this. So you don't have necessarily delimiters of the time. If you want to do a plus, then it, yes. No, 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 man. You didn't get me. You can't do this. That's what I'm saying. This is not an application. No, no, but this is. Yes. This is as well. Uh, yeah, that is, in, that is, yeah. Yeah, so we don't have a problem of this handling B as an argument for K, like, if both are variadic, like, it doesn't matter. No, no, matter. but that's, that's, that's not my, the problem that I, that I, that I try to set, to say. What I tried to say was, we mm -hmm. have a list, this is expecting a list. This is also expecting a list. How do we know here when one list stops and the another one begins? If we don't necessarily have oh, dude, wait. I, no, dude, like this can only like we can't have two variadic things. Like we can. they are no, we cannot, dude. This is impossible. Like this should be very if this wait. Wait, where is my thing? If this is variadic, then only Z should have the things yeah i know but remember from the last time we had the discussion we were oh we wanted to have a list of parameters in which just uh, one of them could be uh, could be variadic and, that, and then we said okay let's do that and yeah, then we, the, we tried the argument that is variadic it's not the it's the arg the value that you're gonna pass to the argument that needs to be variadic it's not that the argument is taking many that doesn't make sense, man. You can't do that. Wait, I, I, wait. Like, what I'm saying is, Y receives a function that is variadic. In this sense, you can do this. But it doesn't mean that you're going to add multiple parameters to this function. That doesn't here, make sense. Here, here. Look, look at this piece of code here. Look, here. This is what we established last session. On the parser, this is we can parse this. So let's let's try to let's try to to make this make sense for for both of us. We have two symbols of variadic here, right? Let's indent this, please. Okay. It's your thing. I, I don't Do know we... how we're gonna indent this, but yeah, just this here, this here, and then. And here. this is also a type, by the way. So. And this okay. is also an argument. It closes here. Yeah. Then yeah. That, that's pretty much it. And this is the body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this X is an argument for this lambda, which is, the type of X is a function, right? Yeah. Whatever. The type here doesn't matter. No. The type here matters. Why? Wait. Because it's an only guy, man. It's an X. Oh, you're right. Like, if we can have the option of part of like this thing here, the arguments modifying the entire thing, then we can't even parse this. No, no, no. You're right. Yeah, we, uh, I made the confusion. X is not variadic. I was making the confusion no. with this. Yeah, X is not variadic. Here. The value as uh, uh, X is asking is variadic. That's what yes, I'm saying. Yes, yes, yes. That's 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 it. Yeah. Okay, no, that that makes much more sense to me now. Okay, so this means that we also need to match this. By the way, if it's a function, we need to match the thing that the argument is expecting is variadic. Yeah, but we are doing that here, uh, line ninety nine. We already thought about that last time. Yeah. Yeah, but what we need to do to discover is x is a function right mm -hmm. uh, no wait sorry this is an abstraction okay let's suppose that we are applying stuff with these arguments okay that's fine so we are trying to we, we pick this abstraction and then we we type check it in this line here and then let's suppose as we are expecting that this is a function which it is it's a lambda okay it's a, a function we can now, it is variadic in this case, but let's imagine that it's not. Like, let's imagine that it's like this. Then we have the type. This type is this, right?
No, the the type is just the. The type is type of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it would be a function, blah blah blah. I'm starting to think, man. I'm starting to think about. No, 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 no. What happens with the parser if we have a Z? Does that make sense? Mm. Wait, what do you mean if you have a Z? Yeah, if you have a Z, then it would be something like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is still a list of parameters. Yeah. Yeah, so. So the previous implementation was right. Correct? Oh, yes. The only thing that changes is the nested garbage inside. No, no, yeah, that I know. I think that the, 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 the initial implementation was right now. Can uh, we print the thing so we can check? That's a good, that's awesome. a good uh, thing. Yeah. By the way, are you sharing my screen or yours? I'm sharing mine, but I'm it's looking at yours. No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. No, no. Go oh. back. I'm looking at yours in the other monitor. All oh, right. Yeah, man. I'm starting to think that we just lost one hour. Yeah, I do think so. Uh, nice. Time. Because if you think about it, this, this. Let's just stop. Uh, speculating. Let's make examples. That's what we are good at. Oh, so we're being pragmatic. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Finally being pragmatic. Can you uncomment this? I don't have the shortcut here. Can you uncomment on yes, the scrap? I finally have the, the thing on my keyboard. <laughs> this, this. Boom. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, yeah. is this right? Yeah, I just copy pasted from the original yeah, REPL. So, yeah, okay, say... so what we need to do now is the following. I'll Let's... just go to the from real quick. I will um, go to the typer. Yeah, we need, we need to type functions. We need to type functions. Uh, CD knife, mix shell, um, B bar three LFA rappel. Uh, I don't remember anymore. Is it like this? No. Is it like this? No. So maybe I changed. Nope. Knife. Well, we need to put the content now. Um. We have a boolean. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't change anything. I'm back. So did you run? Yeah. This this doesn't this doesn't change anything at all. Okay. So I have, we lost I, an hour. I, yeah, we ha we lost an hour. <laughs> Basically, but uh, now we have we have a good example to test. Let's see what happens. Uh, go to the type uh, type te typer test. So we want assert equal typer type check. And what we want to do is to have type check this, right? Let me see. Go to the oh, test part. Where are you? Here. Yeah, so this is the typing part. Yeah. 
Caramel. Education. Okay, so I'm just making it that. Yeah, so what we need to do is the following. Let's make an application. Oh, this test is going to be the most complicated one so far. For sure. Okay, so let's make an abstraction. Yeah, the test cases are not that amazing. Okay, the abstraction is very attic. So every time you see this, okay. Actually. Mm, is it like this that you change to, to, to curly bla braces or it's the opposite? Curly braces? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's the opposite. You pick these and every time you see one of these, you just put uh, this. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so but this is a function. This is an I'm X. Okay, which is a very attic function that picks this. Then we have a bunch of commas. Very attic. This. Integer. Boolean. Okay, so this is the type, and I'm gonna make it like this to be easy to read. This is the type of X, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense for me. Then we also have the types of X and Y and Z. Yeah. Rest. Oh, this second, just let me put comma. this thing. And I guess this is also a comma. Yeah, so this is the application that we want to test, right? Uh, yes. Now sir. we need to create oh, wait, stuff. Just gotta, just gotta change this. Yeah, we gotta change this one. Uh, is it in another tuple like this? Yes, it is in another tuple. We are missing commas. Okay, here we need to create the, the arguments. We need three arguments. We need one, which is a two literals, no, three literals and one complicated one. I'm going to allow you to make the complicated one. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this, this first one is the complicated one. Just pick the same thing and paste it again. Uh, <laughs> no, I, we don't have, we don't have a, an example of this one. Even yeah, it could be, the... no, no, okay, like it could be this application here. Let's pick this one. That would be cool. No, no, that cannot be inside this because this needs to be a function, like needs to be an abstraction, man. This thing. Oh, but like one parameter, like the second thing, can be. Oh, okay. Just making the simple ones, and you want me to make. Yeah. Hard... <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I was like, okay, like, what does he want? Like, he wants, does he want to break? No, it's just. <laughs> no, I will help you. I will help you. Okay, so we want this to type check. So, an abstraction oh, is composed, is the middle part is composed about with the variadic part. So, it's going to be mm -hmm. variadic. So, in this thing, oops, this thing is this. And then we take another thing, like. A function. This needs to be a function. Oh, man. Okay. Abstraction. No, abstraction. Yes. Dude. Yeah, that, that, we, we, that's the, the real test. If this um, works... Actually, because this is the type. The first thing of an arg, of a literal is the type. Right? So it's the type of this abstraction, the argument. So it is a function. No, no, no. Oh, it is... Wait. Oops, function, variadic. So it needs to conform with that. Boolean, just that. And then this is the first guy, so we need to wrap it. <laughs> dude. Is... Oh, man. What are we doing, dude? What are we doing? And then here it's the, the, var the label, whatever. Uh, we, we're handling as a strings, right? So just do like, I don't know, F. Uh, 
And then this abstraction has a return type, which is the type of the body, right? So let's just do, wait, where does it end? I'm confused. This ends here. Yes. So from here, let's just do this. Wait, this is wrong. What? Oh, this is the thinking side. Dude, I, I'm starting to think I did some parentheses hell here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Because my, my brain is bugging because it's not a parentheses. Uh, this... This ends there, okay? And then this ends there. This it's a ends there. That receives another function. This ends there and view. Okay. I knew I was talking wrong. Okay, and this. Okay, and there. So after the list, what do we have in an abstraction? We have the body. So we should wrap this abstraction. Wait, where, dude, I'm where in the happy. abstraction? But where in the abstraction we put the return type? We don't. It's a, it's on the body. It's, on it's the determined body. by the body. So like a variable a. Can you see here? Yeah, I can. So like variable a. What is a? It's an integer. So that's why. So this is horrible. Okay, let's do outside because this will be cluttered here. Yeah. What um, we want is a function that receives a function. Yeah, that's what we want. Well, it's not a parenthesis here, right? Uh, I think, yeah. Because an abstraction is so, composed out of these, which are the parameters and the so variable what is info. The variable here? Oh, this is the body, right? Yeah, this is the body. This is the body of these abs outer so abstraction. Isn't this parenthesis wrong? I'm not sure. Maybe they are. I think they are. That's Oh, okay. That's why I was confused. And then this. No, no, no. I think we need to add this. Oh, man. I think. Oh, dude, I'm confused because. Uh, Variadic, <laughs> and this is the body, this is the abstraction. Okay. Now yeah. it's the application. Okay. Now it seems correct. And then we remove this crap, or do we need list here? I don't recall. No, we need list because this is a list of uh, of arguments. It's a list here. Yeah, the list begins here. Yes. Okay. So and then the right. first argument is an abstraction that receives an abstraction. Oh, okay. Now it's now it's fine. So the first is a function. No, this needs then... to be an abstraction. No. No. Yeah. So that's the thing. Like, there's no type abstraction. There's type function. And if, since this thing is an argument for this crap, it needs to be a function. And then the, the, the value itself, which is the second thing, is uh, the abstraction. So it should be what? variadic. That's what I was doing. So abstract, variadic. Uh, no, man, these are not types. These are values. It's a literal with the type integer. We are putting values here. Yeah, it's your right. Never mind. So it is. It is an abstraction that ha has the information that we. Yes. Yes. Oh man, this is this is a hard one. Okay, so this is a variadic. This I can already tell. So this we need two things. The first one is the information about the parameters, and the second one is the body. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. <sighs> Okay, and then the body for this, which I think we end in here. When then we go outside the thing, and then we make. Is that right? Where's the very indicating here? So then here is the body. Let's just do variable B. Uh, A. Because it's got to be the same. Yeah. Just let's just, let's just try to do it right. It probably will fail, but who cares. All right. Uh, okay. 
This will not work. You know rest. why? No, you need this rest because this is a very eric. No, but we don't need. This is just a label. No, it no yeah. It is a label, but if you put very eric here, we're gonna try to match the last one with rest. Remember. I don't remember matching specifically the atom rest, but that's fine. Not for type checking. But let's put it anyway just to be consistent. So because this is very eric, so the last one should be rest. Um, but this will not type check, correct? Because we are expecting this. Hello? Yeah, I can hear. Ah, just try running this, man. That's <laughs> 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 oh, the point that I can think already. Okay, let's try to run this then. So just copy this and put it here. Let's be pragmatic. Okay, that's it. Try to run this. Oh, I need to run, right? Yeah. Uh... Let me save. Don't, yeah, don't forget to save. Should I save this? Uh, yeah, we can roll back anyway. Yeah. The commit. This. Where's my terminal? What the heck? Okay. I can see your terminal. You can see my I terminal. Can't. What the heck, man? Well, it's not like showing it. it well, it shows up and then it goes away. Like, what the heck? Anyway, you can see here, right? Hello? Uh, yeah, no. Now I can see the terminal. Okay, so... Dude, I think the other things will fail, but... Okay. Uh, rebar 3... Uh, Unit... Uh, line 59. Me, problem with uh, closing crap. Okay, so probably mm -hmm. we have a we have a problem closing stuff. Line 59. Yeah, 59 is the beginning of the. Do you have the extension for for the for the thing, right? So. Don't we need? Isn't this a function? Yeah, this is a function, indeed. So why are we not handing it as a function? Oh, okay, we forgot about that. Yeah, but where does it close now? It closes after the braces of the application. That's for sure. This, okay. Badly formed argument for macro assert equal. Okay, go back. So this thing is uh, wrong. assert equal. Oh, we need to tell. We need to tell the the the, the equal what you're gonna yeah, compare to. Equal to what? <laughs> it's gonna go to. Uh, here. Is it here? No, it's after this. After after the yeah after the blue one. Yeah yeah there. Here. So we it should be. The, we need to tell him. So this is an integer. Is that correct? Um. Yeah. Integer. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Still wrong. Okay. I think. Am I writing things? Oh. This. Oh, okay. Makes sense now. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know how to do parentheses anymore. <laughs> That's a dent shit, man. I it is already dented, man. No, it's not. Dude, this should be dented. <laughs> this closes there, and this should be outside. Yeah, we are, we are making... Very attic... Comma... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Where? Uh, the curly braces, man. The yellow one on the left, 62. Line 62. Instead it's of that, should, instead no the the the, big, the first one. Oh, there it. We need a comma here as well. Oh yeah, we need commas. We need commas. But, but this should be a list. What? But this should be a list. All of these four guys. Oh, this yellow garbage. 
Yeah. No, no. I think we actually need the the other the other braces. Also. Remove this. Uh, put a bracket and remove this. Uh, but in the beginning of line sixty-two, after the uh, begin in putting in the list, I can do it here. But. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because of this. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. This is... Abstraction. This is really bad. Wait, 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 wait. Can I format? Let me see. Theoretically, you should be able to. No, uh, if the code is broken, it doesn't. So I don't know if it did something. Wait, we or are definitely doing didn't. something wrong in here. You know why? Because uh, the the line sixty. You see that we have a pink opening braces, right? Yes, and it's all pinky. Like, why? So I think we're missing... Oh. Um, Maybe that did it? Where's that closing? That's closing here. Yeah, and I just added that to it. I think that's right. Ah, kill me. Okay, still have a problem. Mm. Line still is always going to tell us the, the yeah. first line. Yeah. That's uh, just but I, I don't think I don't think it's this one anymore. Didn't I think our, our, our in the the problem is in the arguments list now. Take a look there. I'll just double check here. List. This is wrong. That is that that was it I guess. I think that was it. I uh that's right. No. <laughs> Dude, no way man. No way. Oh, no. oh we're stupid. Where? Oh a coma. Uh, no. On here. Yeah, we are missing like... a coma, definitely. Very but... Damn it, what the heck? Okay, that makes sense. That also makes sense. This oh, opens here, closes here. Reatic, take three things. Oh, there, line 69. There is a comma here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see the end this as well. So abstraction, and then these are the. These are the not nothing related. The literals just just enter. They are not related to what we are doing here. They are other part other arguments for the application. Okay. Yeah. So. This. Yeah, I get it. And this. Uh, I guess that's it. I that hope. makes sense. Let's see. No. Dude, what the heck? Did you save it? Yes, I'm saving it. We're it doing is something here. really wrong then. What the heck, man? Which is very interesting because we are not doing. Variatic, take a list, variable, abstraction, abstraction, variatic. Variable. X. Oh! Try what? not. What did it do? Oh! <laughs> Come again. Oh, okay, okay, now, now we have a problem. Better. Nice. Now at least we know it's the last one, right? <laughs> okay, so. Okay, arguments types do not match the parameters types of the abstraction. Okay, so. Output, integer, boolean. Wait, output <laughs> integer in the... What the heck, man? Why boolean? <laughs> Why? Why boolean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I... Let me just... Dude, uh, did I misread that? Like... No, it is an integer, I... man. Oh, yeah, I know, but... So, why is this boolean here? <laughs> what the heck, man? I have no idea at all. Anyway, let's see. 
No, go back, go back. It was throwing an error message mm -hmm. also. Yeah. There, Maybe arguments P. Arguments uh, do not match the parameters type of the abstraction. So it's in the MMR function. <laughs> and let me see what it tried to match. Uh, it tried to match. Line 97. Okay. 97. It tried to match what? Integer a boolean rest variable blah blah blah. That's the whole thing. Oh, it's because the abstraction is very attic, right? So it's gonna match line ninety-seven uh, correctly. Yeah, that's correct. I get it. Are you there? Yes. Okay, so the the first abstraction that we are passing to application is very attic, which means it's gonna try to match line ninety-seven. No, not, not nine, line 97, line 81. And by the way, this should be an atom, if we're handling it as an atom. Execute the test, let's see if that changes something. No, I, 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 I really doubt it. I don't think that's a thing, but... And then it runs, and then I... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can we try with only one thing first? Okay, so remove every this? remove the Ooh. here. Let's do the following then. Kill oh, no. these guys. Yes. Kill then die that should be it right yes sir oh no wait 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 this is also wrong the integer is not going to be oh no it's going to be an integer at the end okay yes. let's try baby steps I hope didn't mess up with any parentheses <laughs> parentheses no the assert equal blah, blah. Oh, we probably messed up with some parentheses then. Don't kill me. Um, we can make... Oh, here. We don't have a comma there. I don't know if that was it. Yeah, f badly formed. An abstraction, which is very attic, which receives a f this thing, which is a another function. Literal, very attic. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Here. What was there? Uh, braces here. Mm, okay. Let's, let's try. Okay. It's still not working. Output. Oh, the output. It's a list of a function variadic and an integer boolean. Oh, wait. We're handling it as a list. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I know why. It's because we didn't touch the. We have to touch some some something in here, so this shouldn't be working out of the box. Because at some point we we had the the the, the idea that oh this is already working. Uh, but no, that's not the case. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Oh man, I see. Look at here. Look at look at the code. Uh, line eighty one of the typer. This guy. We are assuming this is a list, man. Yes, sir. But it's not. Yes, sir. In this particular case, it's not a list anymore. Because... Yeah, it's the same thing that we were talking for one hour and a half ago. These yes. guys are not lists anymore. Mm -hmm. They are... They are only one. Every single time, they are only one thing. Does that make sense? Yes, which lead us to the same first case. So what we were doing was right then. Yeah. <laughs> we are going back and forth. We should have done this first, like 
Uh, tested. We should have tested it first. Yeah. Um, oh, there man. isn't a list. No, we're never gonna have a list anymore. So, it is what we were doing before. So this yeah. is always a type, always in singular. This is always gonna be the head. And then, if that's the case, we need to do all of those adaptations that we I. I I deleted before, <laughs> and we also yeah, need to do that. Let's just try to rethink them. Uh, let's ignore what we were doing. So if they match, we get the head, and then what we do is that we call the same thing what we added to the environment, right? Uh, just one second, man. Okay. While you do that, let me just burn a CD. Since you're not okay, sharing. I'm back. Okay, since you're doing that, let me just burn a CD. No, 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 no. <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back. Oh man. If oh, it is the same thing, man. So if you, we need to call. We need. Oh, I remember the problem that we had before. We were doing stuff correctly, but we were not uh, able to distinguish what is the base case of this recursion because we're going to call type check application mm -hmm. again. We're going to update the environment with the with the variable that we already type checked. You're the base create... case. I don't think the problem is the base case because it's always a primitive, right? The le the le the. the <laughs> no, the problem was the base. Actually, case. no. The, yeah, no, the problem is not the base case because it always ends when the arguments end. It always ends when the arguments end. Yeah, like if you don't have more arguments to keep feeding, then. That's it. That was the base case. That's okay. it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like... That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So if the list is empty, I am mean, just guessing we have an empty function. Maybe not. Empty. Okay, list. So let's see if we have a, f a function that does this, this for, for us. Do we have an empty? No. How do we check if the list is empty? We do the rabbit just for loss. I think there is a list empty, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Like a list, no, I mean not empty, but is search for is something like this. Uh, let me. No man. Oh man, no, please. Is. I don't think we. <laughs> no, it's impossible. Like. I really e don't think so. M? No, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, okay, just do a rabbit. Rabbit, with, rabbit with empty list, yeah, that's fine. But yeah. what is gonna be the return of this? Right? So if the. Yeah, that's the base case. You're a genius, Magita. <laughs> the arguments are done. That's the base case. So if we don't have any, any more arguments, we just get the return type out of the abstraction. Um, parameters. I don't know if you called that genius, but. <laughs> I don't know if I called this. I'm very far from that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm far from that. <laughs> um, we get the abstraction. We get the body out of it, right? And then comma, uh, type check. In just a second, because I'm freezing. With environment, environment, body. That's it. That's it. Now we we'll just need see. to redo everything again. Let me see. So, arguments, if they are, if they are empty, then you just return, you just dismember the abstraction, and then you just type check the body. Otherwise, we do all the crap we were doing. Yeah. With... Okay, I see it. Yeah, okay. So now we need to do the... We need to fix... Okay, yes. So now we continue here, right? Oh, I'm following you. Yeah, so now what we need to do is that exact same thing that we were doing before, that I unfortunately yeah. removed. So we were right. That's that's good to know. 
uh, abstraction. Oh, and we don't have to do this if all these other branch right away. We can just change the test to always be not very attic to test this part in particular. Yes. So we have uh, parameters and we have the body. Okay, we're going to get that out of the abstraction. So what I should do actually is just to remove this and put in the beginning so we can reuse it, which is cool. Then we need to create a new environment. I remember that. Yes, sir. So we need to do maps put. There's only one thing, yeah. So and then we need put. to put the key. The key is, is the head of the arguments. Uh, I just remember we also need to uh, better match uh, labels. Okay, so we need to pattern match pick the the labels and oh, put yeah, that the with the type. And we also need the other environment. It's yes. cool. And we need to update the abstraction because we already consumed one of the parameters. So we're going to create a new one. Abstraction. Okay, with the same body and the tail one element. of the parameters. Yes. And uh, the same body. It's looking very easy now. I don't know. <laughs> There must be something wrong, man. It's looking very easy. <laughs> and then okay. we just return type check mm -hmm. uh, application using the new environment, uh, the new abstraction, and one less argument because we already consumed one of it. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Yes. Now we just save this file, oh, go to the test, and, and put not very attic all the time. Because that's the only case that we, we changed. And because this is not type checked for by Erlang, we don't care about the other one. Okay, execute the tests. Wait, we need to fix this garbage. Oh man. Well, what did you do here, Lens? Is it maybe I use commas where I should be using? Uh, no, other... it's like on the end you're gonna add the semicolon. But then it's still breaking up there. Oh man. No, no, it should be. It should be this. What is complaining about the true? Can you go there near and see? Syntax error. Before, or this? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because this is a case, right? Never mind. Oh, the if. if? I think the same thing is happening with the if. And this. Actually, no. There is no parentheses. There is nothing here. Oh, you can't make this sort of function call inside an if. That's garbage. But yeah, that's how it works. I think you can, but I never bothered looking into it. <laughs> I, I, I intend to remain like that. I intend to do this. Oh, no. uh, is it working now? I think the error is the same. Syntax error before argument thinking. types. I think this 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 function exists. Head. No, I I saw people using it. Oh. And it shows here, like HD. You see? Yeah, HD. Oh. <laughs> oh, I I didn't the LFA yeah. style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but maybe see? now we are missing parentheses. No, no, no. It's right. No, it's wait. Syntax zero before label. Same thing here. I love hearing. <laughs> I did in the least few way. I'm gonna test this again just to see. Damn it, Lemos. <laughs> okay, now it's here. Hey. <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. No, not this. Of 
Could it be? No, this is wrong. This is right. No, this is wrong. Damn it, man. Why is it so... <laughs> We always forget how to make the the nasty of the a very shitty syntax. Like, <laughs> it ends here, and then the last one, the last one of a case doesn't have an end. It doesn't have a semicolon. Sorry, and then in this case, we don't, and then we add here because this is not the last expression. The last thing. Is it comma? No, I don't remember it being comma. No. No, I don't think it's comma. Syntax error before the end. end. We can do something, by the way. We can just copy, remove the body of all of this to make it easier. Yes. Yeah. Because we have this saved on the uh, in the repo anyway. Yeah, okay, so now it's easier to manage. It's considerably smaller. Yeah, but the problem is not there. Is it here? Error before the end, and then we remove it here. No, I think that the end deserves a semicolon. Yeah, this is right. Is this... No. Argument types. Oh, and we can also do this. Do we have any other parts of the code that we are using the if? I don't know, man. Probably there is. There are only a value. Oh, here. Okay. Using it. Okay, so the end after. It's a semicolon, which we are using, which is fine. We have a case there, which is also fine. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, the Erlang error does not deserve anything at the end. It is correct, indeed. Where is the syntax problem? We don't have any any other ifs that are easy, man. Oh, no. the other if is also complicated to to imagine. Yeah, they're hellish. Okay. Yeah, no, but we have it here. Type check abstraction has an if, and it is working correctly. I don't think the problem is the if. Ah. You don't think the problem is the if? Okay, so let's start extracting code. This is still wrong. <laughs> oh, no, I need to save for that. Oh, but this is wrong anyway. I need to do this. Now it's right. <laughs> no, if we remove the, well, you just remove wait, the keys. Wait, wait. Now it is not showing. Oh, okay. No, no. I need to save, man. It's like garbage. Garbage tooling here. Garbage tooling. Okay, so it is in the case, that's for sure. Yes. Okay, so let's do the following also. Let's remove this if. Save oh, now. Yeah, I think the problem is in the if, in that inside. IO, F, right, blah, blah, blah. And and blah. Right. <laughs> Put a comma. I gotta, I gotta get used to the keyboard. <laughs> save. Yeah, it's just saved. See? Still wrong. Ah. This is another branch. This is one branch. And this. I am pretty sure now the problem is here. Is it this? Don't be very cursed. 
<laughs> no, I don't think this is correct. Any of the other uh, things <laughs> have uh, something with the ear. Bro. What? <laughs> Bro. Oh. Okay. I think this. Yes. So we vault it. <laughs> okay, go back. Because the last one you don't have a semicolon for some random reason. Like anyway, so just robots. Okay, that's the E. All this time we didn't even think, oh, maybe it's not it, it's not there. Anyway. Okay. Uh now this is IO F right there. Ooh wait man. Unfortunately, because we don't have the more powerful syntax, I'm gonna have to do this. A more powerful syntax. Oh, you can you can do that inside already. Like go back. No, no, no. I, I can't do that inside because I need no, both parameters and labels. You can. You can. What do you mean, man? You can do this. Oh, so it has enough powerful powerful enough syntax to do that. That's the only good thing about this. <laughs> we can better match decently. That's it. Okay, we can ignore this, right? Yeah, we can ignore that. So just go to the test. Can we? Yeah, go to the file. Okay, as as okay. long as it's not very attic, we can. Yeah, as long as it's in... No, no, nothing is very attic in there. Oh, no, I lied. Yeah, this... No, 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 but this doesn't matter because it's not an application. Like, this is just a problem on the application. This is not. No, so it's it not. It's not. It's in the abstraction, man. We're just using application no, just to be no, convenient. Dude, no, no, I'm saying, like, this... Okay, this needs to match with this. Never mind. Yeah. So, let's just change it here. Yeah, change... Just put quotes, I guess. Yeah. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Are you... Why are you so... PD. Okay, now I did something. Oh, we Fair. were checking for not not for variatic stuff. Oh wait, expected blah 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 got okay. Expected okay got integer. <laughs> okay, got integer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> expected okay. Uh, expected okay. Wait, what? Expected yes. Okay. What does that does that make sense? It's on the last three. No, but line seventy seven. Seventy seven is the last one, which is the one yes. that we care. Okay. The other two you can ignore because the other two are asking for very for variatic stuff. Oh we are also man. Yeah, this should be not variatic. Okay, that's why. Okay, go. Save. Go. Wait, what was the thing? Uh, we are asking for variatic stuff on that test, and we shouldn't. Oh. Nice! <laughs> you forgot, you can't clean it! Okay, can do this. Uh, I need to go there again. Okay. Ooh, okay, now it's a different error. So, error. Arguments, blah, 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 do not match the Arguments, types, do not match the parameters, types of the abstraction. What does that mean? Oh, here. Okay, so we need to print. Nice. Fixed. Gonna run. F right. Uh, oh, do the chuda. Do the chuda here. Uh, I like it. Where? Oh, you can. I can't see where. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, man, look, look how easy. <laughs> uh, easy man. I am a new man. Argument types. Comma. This will break. Okay, save, go. Um. Mm -hmm. What is the error there? Before... Oh. oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay. And again, another list P problem. You're, you're getting used to it. Variable arguments type is unbound. Oh, it's argument types, plural. Okay, never mind. Go. I Are saved you... already. Oh, I, I need to save, I guess. For a moment, they thought it ran. Output, <laughs> we have an output at least. What? I just added prints. How the heck we have outputs now? <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know, but it's we have a print. Function not variadic. Function not variadic. Integer bool. Integer. Isn't it the same shit? Oh wait. No. Function. It's not just the same thing. list thing as before. It is the listy thing, but we're not. We don't have variadic parts. How the heck that was that is happening? Isn't it before? Let me see. Integer. What the crap? Oh, I may think I may think I know what it is. Function. Oh man, it's because type check abstraction. I guess it is treating as it is. Yeah, that is the problem. That is the problem. Ooh. We're going to have to ch to change type check abstraction as well to accommodate this thing. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. How the heck are we going to do that? Ooh. -hoo. Damn. Okay, I know how. Uh, okay. Oh man, Nathan will be yeah, so man. disgusted when he sees, sees this. Yes. Uh, type check abstraction. Environment. I love electoral propaganda. Man. What are you trying to do though? Wait. Just a sec. What we need to do is we need to convert because as you can see we have uh, a boolean go back to the go back to the to the test okay that last one which is also being no no not this the terminal oh yeah as you can see here we have a function the last one which is not very attic and we are we are making it integer boolean right Mm -hmm. And the integer is the return type the, of the body. So, the integer and the boolean, they are in a list, right? And look at the line uh, 57 on the typer. That is returning a list of types, which needs to be that list, right? Integer and boolean. Correct? Mm -hmm. What we need to do is to make another function inside this one. Like we need to make the the return type needs to be a function instead of an integer. You see why? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do here. What I'm doing is I am creating, calling it uh, with recursively the with the new environment, with the new environment. Um. And I, I need to create the same structure here, right? So the variadic info, for instance. Um, I don't know at all, right? Because I would have to, because we need to imagine that instead of an integer near Boolean, you can have another function there also. So, 
So I'm going to put the same as we are using there just for testing. The labels. The labels are the same aside from the, the one that I just used. So it's this. And the body is also the same. The labels are the head, is the head. And you're going to have to do that same trick, man, that you did with the labels before. Mm -hmm. So if labels... Uh, if labels is like this, I did the opposite so you of the rabbit. You invented a new operator. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of the rabbit. <laughs> the, I don't know, man. Lobster. If it is right like this, you just return the type check with environment mm -hmm. of the body. Uh, and then we just pass the body here. But if you have something else, then you do this. Okay, save it, save you as well. Oh man, this way of doing stuff is so much harder. Holy crap. And again, this is not because of the language. This is because of our modeling. I just want to make that sure, that clear. Hello, I get that. I, I, I'm paying attention. Yeah, just save this file and let's try again the tests. What if... Okay, it looks so right. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I made a mistake. This is not head, this is tail. Oh, here, right? Mm -hmm. Save again, please. Let me see. And again, we have a problem with... Oh, we oh, need another then... end. Oh, yes. And this is the one with the dot. And then we remove this. There. Okay, save, and let's go. Okay, now, now it, it worked there. You see? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now we have function not variadic boolean integer. Okay, okay, so this is the last state, so it would halt, right? Yeah, can you copy pay? Can you copy this output and paste it uh, at the te in the test file? Just to us to be sure if we, we maybe we are making something wrong in the output. So just copy this thing of the output. And paste it in the type test, uh, typer test file. Oh, wait. This is, this yeah. is not what we want, right? We no. want this. No, 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 no. I, we, no, the output is what, no, we want that output. That is the output that the function returned. That we want oh, that. you want me to just paste there. Yeah, just paste there asking. just to, to us to see if... Okay. Uh, let me just reply a message real quick. Yeah, but paste it first. I already did. You did where? Oh, you did it in the, in the typer. Okay, I don't want it in here. I want here. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> it is an integer. Not very attic. People use WhatsApp, man. It's like the worst. So. Okay, I think we are, we are doing a not boolean integer. Wait, what? Does that make sense? Oh, there's another function in here. Oh no, this makes sense. 
Holy crap, this makes sense. I'm surprised. Let me see. So, what did you do? Go to the typer test. So, do you see yeah. this abstraction here? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that this one is this one. We so, you have not very attic parts. Yes. Integer. Yeah, so you pick In the integer, which is the, this, uh, this thing here. Then yes. you create, you pick the the another the parameter, mm -hmm. which uh, it's going to be a boolean. So this is the type of the input. So this is a current version of. And the output is a variable a, but variable a with the environment is the in, is an integer. So the output is an integer. See. Yes. So we made current. But the the final result of this no the final is result is wrong but I'm I'm far parts part by part, part okay part. okay I see so the You're abstraction of the that theory. we are using to application is correct I guess yes. oh that explains why it didn't work because it, this I I'm I'm guessing is this we see yes. Yes, makes sense. Wait, does that make sense? Because yes, function not very attic, function not very attic, integer, integer, boolean, boolean, and the return is an integer. Actually, the integer there is wrong, right? No, it's correct. Because, look. The first one, I mean. The first one? No, this one? No, yeah, the one inside. No, this is correct, look. No, but that's... This is the input type. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So... Okay, so I know why it didn't work. You know why? Because this didn't type check with this. Okay? As you can see here, this is different than this. So what we learn is that this is not the correct way of making this thing. It's not. Not the correct way of making this thing. Which makes a lot of sense, right? Because this is a function inside a function. And we are passing only one function to it. Yeah, makes yeah, that's right. What if we do another abstraction with Oh yeah, dude. Oh man, we're stupid. What if we do another abstraction as a parameter of the f of that one? Oh wait, 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 wait. I, I for, uh, sorry that I um I couldn't I couldn't pay attention to you because I was thinking very very thoroughly, and I think I know why, man. Do you see that this this logic is inverted? As it should start from the from the outside. Because like this guy is the is a an atom, right? This is an integer. This is the return type. Yeah, the return. In our other version, the return type is complicated. Mm -hmm. So they are reversed. So what I we oh, need to do? Oh no! Wait. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They are totally yeah. reversed. So what we need to do is the following. But is that it? Yeah. Why is it inversed, dude? Because I'm changed in the, in the implementation here. Go back to the typer here. Look, I'm putting the head. I'm, I'm putting in the return oh, type the nesting, right. but I should be yeah, doing the opposite. Yeah, so, it's okay. Just swap it. Yeah. yeah. So this is return type, which makes sense. And then this guy is another function. So it's this new environment labels body. Okay, let's try. Save save both files. Uh, but shouldn't this be the head? What? Mm, no, no. This should be the file oh, this type. Is the body. Never, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, but save both files and let's comment this out. I yeah, can't comment, unfortunately. Oh, you can't. Yeah, and Doesn't save. Mold, right? That's rubbish. <laughs> Did you find a typed variable? Is that the same? 77. 77 is the same. Okay, so we're close. Didn't find okay. typed variable. Didn't find typed variable. 
Lisp is mapped. Chew. Is there any chew somewhere? Or is this a random thing? I think it's a random thing. I don't know. Piper? Nope. Oh, this is just like where it failed, whatever. Doesn't help much. Line 73 on the typer. What is that? 73 on the oh, so let's look at the stack trace first. So typer test 77. What yeah. are we trying to do on 77? 77 of the typer. Typer test is the, the test that we are trying to yeah. execute here. And then you go to 81 on the typer. What is that? 81 typer. 81 typer. Oh, Here. it's this one. So let's see this line. Type we'll check application. Our lists map, and then we do type check with environment. It's, it's not done. That is here. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, it, it is. is. Oh, it is not done. The legendary. <laughs> uh, and then we pass the arguments. Okay. Uh, I want to then... explain Nathan first because maybe he will figure out faster than us. So Nathan, uh, I, I think I sent in the chat a few days ago, like when we were discussing with about knife, that we couldn't make it in the parser uh, a way to make a, the list the least parameter thing. Uh, I don't know if you if you know what I mean. So like integer, error, integer, error, integer. We're gonna pick every single oh, type. It's the one that I, I said. Wait, fifty-nine and um, seventy. And then uh, to fix that, because we couldn't figure out how to get the the one before the last to put the variadic info in the parser. I can explain later better if I can. We decided to change that approach to the approach of doing curring. So if you have a function with multiple parameters, we're gonna parse that. As like you get an integer and the return type is a function. You get the integer, and the return type is a function, and so on and so forth. Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we noticed, we discovered today for like two hours now, uh, that this modeling is really, really hard in comparison to the other one. Well, it depends on what you mean. What do you mean by modeling? Like doing curing, you mean? Yeah, changing the typer in the evaluator. Oh, okay, yeah. To, now you are being precise to and tackle correct. tackle this. To tackle specifically... Oh, you don't have a list of types, of Lamb. parameters. You have one parameter, or always, and the return type changes to, like, a function which has more stuff inside it. Lamb. Uh, man. Uh, like, it's easier, like, overall, if you are doing curing. But if you are changing to carry a previous thing that has like arity then it's a <laughs> whole fucking lot of work <laughs> but the thing that i'm impressed the most is that man if you are doing that to solve the problem of parsing that's uh quite a thing because you could parse the thing no we couldn't figure out how to make that happen uh, on tuesday so that's then i i made the decision okay i talked to magetta magetta it seems how am i going to do the parsing of the one before the last how am i going to tell the parser pay attention sounds, to the one before the last man to me that sounds like oh i have a container uh i don't know like coconut <laughs> well okay coconut oil oil and i cannot open it so let yes. me do coconut <laughs> oil from scratch <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I feel like a monkey banging a coconut right now. Yeah, but then, uh, but this all of this is reversible, by the way, because we have the previous version uh, in the... No, we are doing it already. Let's just... No, no we agree. are, but... We, I want to finish this shit, man. No, I want to the... bury, I want to but... bury this project. Okay, like, <laughs> just considering on why, or if we should, like, considering only that we are doing, what is the problem now? Uh, the problem is that we are having a hard time uh, thinking in this manner, I would say. That every single time... Where? That's a gentle way to speak. <laughs> um, That's a gentle where... way. Oh, th so that is our problem, Lemus. Where? What? A is not in the environment. What do you mean? Like, we're trying to... 
it's trying to find this variable a, but this variable is not in the environment. So we can't like type the variable. No, but we are passing the new environment. You are printing the old one, but you should put new. Yeah, why are you doing env then here? Mm -hmm. Should it be new as well? Oh, maybe but that's it. Maybe that's it. Go, go, go. Save and go. Folks, but what is the part that you are saying that? I. Which one failed? Well, the same. But... No, no, we don't know. Go, go, uh, scroll up. Yes, it's the same. Oh yeah, you wanna see the the amazing? See? No, no, mm -hmm. I would. I wanted to see the lines, but that's fine. Yeah, but uh... it's. Just... Okay, so let's try to explain the problem to to Nata. So the no, problem. Just a second. I would just like uh, uh, turn on the lights. Okay. Prelude variable. The analogy with the coconut. <laughs> good. X. Wait, X is correct, right? Yes, that's all. X is correct, which is in interesting to say the least. Uh, ignore this, by the way, because this is the second. Uh, wait. Yes, ignore this because this is the second thing that I'm printing. I should do with a bar just so we can distinct. <laughs> Like this. I'm back. So. Okay, so uh, what we are doing? Just we one need... thing first, just go, to go. get out of the way. Uh, very addict stuff, you can delete everything. Yes. Just because you cannot do that with curry and shit. So just forget it. Oh, we would have to, to, to remove the variadic aspect, right? Yeah, because you do not know when it finishes, right? But that's the exact same thing I was discussing with Magetta. And Magetta convinced me that we can, right? Oh, no, wait. No. Maybe I'm not thinking enough. Uh, no, I said that the arguments, they can be... I mean, the, the things you're passing to the function can be variadic. And that's what we're doing. Maybe I'm not thinking enough also. Because um, we could parse something in with knife that I don't know if it makes sense, but we could, which is like one of the arguments, one of the internal, a first argument of the lambda is like a function, but this function receives another function and this second function is variadic. And you that see? doesn't matter. Like, yeah, no, I know, but yeah, that doesn't make sense. It's the first cannot be variadic. The the one that is being received also not like it Wait. wouldn't have a special treatment but I, i'm thinking I, i'm not sure if you can but I, I think you can't anyway oh, that's, 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 no 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 wait that's true because how are you gonna because think about this uh, i'm thinking because if we're handling like the the function inside function inside function and you receive a variadic function. Mm. It doesn't matter when you apply, right? But when you have a f body that is using that function, then the problem then the problem shows up. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's like transparent. Like all the arguments that you receive, they don't matter to you. And the only thing that you check is if they are compatible with our parameters type. What you do with them in the body doesn't matter. It's basically, oh, you will call oh, the evolve again in matter, the body. It does matter if you are not evaluating it. It's just a function. Not evaluate. No. Uh, if it's just a variadic function and you're evaluate like you're passing like one thing. But you are evaluating. It matters either. No, never mind. It doesn't matter either. Anyway, as as we just figured out, it's very complicated to make this in this way, like a curried way of making the thing. So I'm thinking, because we still uh, we can try, Nata, if you know how to do that, we can try to change the parser to the least way. That would be fine. I don't know how to do it, but if you know, uh, just a question. It's not regarding how to parse a list, right? Because that we are doing already. Yeah, it's not regarding parsing a list. It's Up here, because I'll go have dinner. Yeah, okay, okay see ya. Then I'll be back to suffer. So what it's what a... we need to discover is how you're going to make... <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy. Uh, we need to discover how to tell the parser. <laughs> mm. We need to discover how to tell the parser. Hey, parse this. And in the the one before the last, if it has an percent, it's fine. It's an optional. Right? That's what we want, I guess. Okay, can you show in your screen, like, the grammar and shit? Yeah. Uh, where is my mouse? Oh, here. So, just, just one thing first, like, okay, that was the... Wait. I'm a bit confused now. Yeah, I'm quite confused, because we are saying the one before the last one, because the last one was supposed to be the return type, right? Yeah. Look at here. Oh, okay, for describing the type of you receiving a function, right? Yeah, look at, look at the oh, screen okay. here. Oh, okay, yeah. I okay, so I made this the parsing of this work on, on last knife session. Uh, oh, you're using... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, let me... Just give me a second. Uh, lambda, and then you have brackets for the parameters, and, oh, okay, you have X, and then it's type. Yeah. And, well, the brackets end there. So... The type of X is this. Oh, okay, okay. Holy fuck, that's hard <laughs> to read, man. <laughs> like, if you didn't do that, I would take a bit more time to that. Yeah, it is a function that receives an arbitrary number of integers, returns a boolean, and if uh, having a variadic uh, one of those, you, re you return as an integer, integer. Oh, okay, 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 thanks. Uh, just to Wait, I was thinking about something I forgot, I guess. So our our goal today was to attempt to experiment with the with the spoon compiler evaluator to try to oh, make okay. this uh, okay. I, I remember now, Lemos. Uh the thing is, uh, I think we even talked about that the last time. Why we are not doing like not that you cannot do that way, but the easier and most obvious way to do it would be to separate what is one, what is the other when describing the type of a function. So when oh, describing the type of a function... Oh, adding an atom to discover which, it returned, which one is the return type. Well, it could be an atom, right? Uh, wait. Like in here, look. We can, if we change oh. the grammar to allow <laughs> this... Like, I was thinking about two things. The first one is, on the arrow, you could still use it as prefix, but you would separate what is inside in lists. Then you know what is the last one and the other list. Or you could use the arrow as not prefix, right? Because then you could just put the last, uh, the arrow before the last. Oh, yeah, that could also be the case. You could use as prefix and another token to separate there that's way easier than changing the the spoon <laughs> oh yeah for sure yeah for sure. that's so much easier holy fucking crap uh, do we need that i'm not sure but probably it's the easiest way uh does that make easiest to recognize yeah the e? yeah yeah, like because it's... now we can tell the compiler to try... Okay, the one before this, if it has an percent, it's fine. Because that's what that was the thing that I couldn't make it... I couldn't think how to do it properly. Like, you have an arbitrary number of guys in here. Right? But the one before the last one, it can has this. It can have. It can has this. Uh, just one thing, Lemus. How... Okay, if there is only one type there in the arrow, it means that it receives nothing and it, and it gives this type, right? Uh, I, I think so, yeah. 
Okay. No, I didn't so, test it though, but I, that, I, that should be true. No, 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 wait. That's not regarding testing what is implemented. That's regarding what do you want. Oh, yeah. If it is like this, uh -huh. is a function. That should be the return type? Yeah, that should be the return type. Okay. So what you can do, like in grammar, is the following. And go back to the previous one. Uh, okay, so group everyone except the last. Group everyone except the last. And also grab the... No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Group, but that's like meta syntax, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and put a column before the end of the grouping. After the, the E, commercial. Yeah, yeah, there. So that needs to be a group, right? Why is that? Because that's optional, right? What is so optional? This? The whole group that you marked there. Oh, no, no, no. It's optional. Oh, sorry. Okay. But oh, right? it's because if we don't have that as an uh, this thing inside, we would have to put something like this in the other case. That's yeah. Be terrible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> uh, and inside, we also need some some stuff. And what is that? That's probably you have normal types without the commercial, and they are probably many, I guess. Yeah. They are many. They are many types. And then you have a optional e-commercial as the last one, I guess. Is that it? Uh, it sounds like it. Uh, 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 Wait. Yeah, after the many, right? The many type. You like delete this. Oh yeah, yeah. You need grouping. No, you need grouping for the many, right? Instead of like many stuff, you do type and then the. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, because we have that. Yeah, the only thing that changes is that the rate that you are writing the many is as you do it parsing and not with grammar. No, no, yeah, 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 but I'm just writing to see. Mm -hmm. I need to add the column now. No, the column is. Uh... Okay, just delete the thing, man. The the e-commercial integer there. Oh no, I think we have a problem. I think we have a problem because it says that the column can occur by itself. Mm, you see? Uh, yeah. Because that's true. many can that's be zero, true. Yeah, the other true. can be optional. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we have a way to do the column properly because it depends on like context information, right? Yeah, th if... that's exactly that's this thing of of the arrow stuff. This is the thing that depends on counting, right? Yeah, yeah. Therefore, we should just avoid it. Don't try to implement it because <laughs> context free is what we want. More depends than that, on fucking it's hard. counting, man. Yeah, so we need to find another way. Okay, you also can do that. And then the user just don't put the column. And if it happens to put, then okay, it's valid. And it will understand properly that it's just the return type. And you put the column before because, I don't know, you have a weird style. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, like it doesn't need to put it there. But if you put it, it's valid syntax, right? Okay. Okay, and then we can go back to the whole uh, listy, listy approach instead of changing. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> I'm thankful that, well, I, I was at least a bit sure that the Maghetto was not talking serious about the server stuff. He would not like to implement that. <laughs> That's why I know it was probably not that serious. <laughs> That's only why. Not that he was thinking it's a bad idea, but because he would not like to implement. Uh, but I'm still a bit surprised that you guys went for the let's use a fucking cannon to solve the parsing. Like let's change the whole no, it's because idea of no, the language. It's, no, it's not. It's not about changing the, the the language itself. It's because it's a choice, and we discussed, and we 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 decided okay, the least approach is better, but then. Because I, uh, we had a problem with the parser, I, I suggested, okay, let's change it here and let's change spoon to, to, to fix this behavior. 
And it is possible. Definitely it is possible. It is just very complicated to think in this way. It's so unnatural. Uh, it's, uh, I would say that kind of limit. It's, I would say, well, what I already said, it's a lot easier to implement the non-very adequate way. Especially when you are not dealing with... Um, well, okay, okay, I said it wrong. It's a lot easier to do with current by default than to do with arity, especially when you are not dealing with very adic. It's a but lot we easier. Are. No, but that's the thing. We are. No, 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 no. I I'm saying it's especially easy because you are not dealing with, because I think you cannot deal with very adic when you are doing current by default. I'm not completely sure, but I would, I would guess that's the case. Oh, but, but yeah, okay. if you are changing of a previous model to this one, then it's hard, but just because <laughs> of code, not because of thinking about it, the model. No, uh, oh. me and uh, my Git, at least, we had a hard time changing type check abstraction and type check application to this to this way. But do you think it was because of the model or because of the refactoring code? Uh, maybe for my Git, it was the the refactoring code. For me, it was both, definitely. Okay, you were not used to the... Yeah, I I would never think. Not that I would never. I can think for a bit. Like, oh man, if you have a function with two parameters in a return type, this is actually a, a function that receives uh, an integer and returns the return type is another function. Right. Uh, do you know what is weird, man? Is that I think you guys were doing a absurd approach because the way you are saying it sounds like you guys were dealing with the current stuff and in reality it's like totally transparent what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> what i mean is uh so let's suppose we have types up there right uh i don't think that's the case maybe we have a comment no no, no on... but let me explain something first this is assuming to be a list okay yeah, you just assume those are not a list, and then it works by default. You don't need to worry about, oh, wait, you return a function. We shit. tried you that. Have didn't, no idea. didn't work. No, it didn't work at all in that way. It is in the recording. Uh -huh. we, we assumed at some point we were so lost, trying to explain to ourselves what, what needs to be done in this particular case, that, oh, man, let's just put it, the code back as it was, and let's just make a test. And mm -hmm. then, in that manner, we discover that, no, this needs to be changed significantly. Yeah, it does a lot. Because, oh, this uh, is a one type. This is not all the parameters. This is the, the return type, possibly, potentially, is going to be another function. So. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing we don't worry about. No, no, yeah, we don't need to, need to worry about that. But what we need to worry is. We're going we're gonna to have to call this type check application until we don't have any arguments. That was a certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. You only have one argument. Wait, what? You only have one argument. Uh, no, no, no. You didn't understand what I, what I wa wanted. No, no. This... You're saying that you need to check until all the arguments. That's the thing. I'm saying that in carrying by default, you only have one argument. No, no. Yeah, I agree with you. But that's not, that's not what is happening here. Yeah, this then is the entire the... abstraction, and this is the entire list of arguments. Yeah. So what, what we I'm were doing, is, what we were doing is, oh, pick that. the head of this, apply it uh, to the to the current abstraction, see if it's type checks correctly, and then oh, we still have more arguments to go, and we still have more parameters to go. Call these recursively, but in, decrease this amount and decrease this parameter amount also. Okay, yeah, you could do that, I guess. But that's a whole lot harder than... What? Accepting. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> explain. Okay, <laughs> I, I can't... Ever, I, I, oh man, I have an idea <laughs> what works here. Yeah, but Lemus, I, I think you could do that. I think you can receive the list and apply like recursively, uh, like diminishing, not diminishing, but decreasing the number of no, arguments. No, this was working fine, man. This, this part, we, we got it working. And then we discover, really? oh, okay. this is not enough. We need to change also the type check abstraction. Uh, why? Because 
this is also assuming to be a list, and this is also assuming to be a single non-functional uh, thing here. No, no, it is not assuming to be non-functional. It is not. We c you could return a whatever. Well, you can, but in the way that we want, we want this to return a function. If this is more than one, this needs to return always a function. Oh, wait. If we have more than one parameter, we take the header out of this, put it in here, and the return type is actually a function with the new updated environment, uh, with minus one labels, and so on and so forth. So you need to create a whole new thing again, recursively with type check abstraction here. Yeah, I can't properly think about that right now. <laughs> but yeah, I would say it's, yeah, maybe it's not as easy to do that yeah. part. Anyway, so Magetta, I, I was laughing because the decision that we made while we, while you we were in di uh, at dinner, having dinner, was to change the grammar to not have to change this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a, that's, a, that's a pragmatic answer. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I would say it's more like a sane one, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, today was an experiment. I had, I had fun. But it was hard. A hard fun. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording now.